we're just going to get this started. So you're listening to Mutant Rodeo, and this is Serena Sabrisky reading from Weeping Coffees. The hunger burns a hole inside of me. Right under the solar plexus it starts and spreads like cancer. It demands its feed. It wants dough. That's why we walk down the wide, wide road, eyes wool hungry, sniffing for the flaming flowers. The light is white gray and lilac and violet like baby flamingos. It never gets dark here at night in June. White nights, they call it. White nights, red hunger. We look behind every whitewashed fence, hunting for the flames. Poppies. Their fires explode here and there. They promise fire in our blood. The petals are devil's tongue. Red flags. They dance on the inside of my eyelids. Chunks of raw meat, a torn body of a kill. We walk and search, we are on a mission. We're stealing puppies. We will make heroin at home. We will steal and run all night. We're in steel hills, two hours north from Leningrad. Here, I see them. I hope the fence and crawl between roses and raspberry bushes. The yellow gold inside the flowers looks sick, like me. Poppies split open. Their stems are silver green. I pull them out of the ground. Weakly they sting me. Claws of clay, claws, their roots like monster hair. I run and hop back over the fence. A heap of poppies in my arms, like dying birds. We keep moving down the road. We don't say anything. The dogs are everywhere. We need more puppies. Philosopher is every philosopher is smiling. He always smiles. That's why I love him. Pilot never smiles. In the eerie light, he looks like a sad clown in aviated sunglasses. A green house is on the left. Red flames by the window. Philosopher jumps over the fence. I hear the feet stomping and a dog's fierce choke and his shit and growling. Someone in the house screams, junkies, and another woman's voice, junkies are here. I clutch the plastic bag with the poppies to my chest. Philosopher is fast. He flies back over the fence and lands on the white road, raising dust. We run, run, run. Fast of the road into the field of grass and fall flat on our stomachs. I look at philosopher. He laughs and winks at me, whispering, What doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? Left. We lay flat until the feet and voices die away. Fix time, says Pilot, and takes his works out. We brought just a little dope with us so we can last. Pilot shoots first. He's easy. Can I go first? I ask philosopher. I always ask. I love you, honey, he says, but no. He always says this. I wrap his shirt around his arm and look away. He takes forever to shoot. Faster, says Pilot. He's smoking now on his back, the timetable in his hand. Still hills, Leningrad, 5.38 a.m. The next train, 11.53. Come on, we have an hour and we got work to do. His voice is slow. Ah, says philosopher. He closes his eyes and falls next to Pilot. I wrap his shirt around my cock. My veins on my arms are gone. I only shoot into my legs. That's why they call me legs. I find the veins soon and feel the rush. Look, the sky, says philosopher. My God's eyes, he's watching us. He knows we are good. He loves us. I love God. I love life. I love still hills, this field, every motherfucking blade of grass. The soil is like my mother. Motherland, get it? We come from the mother. We go to the mother. 
I love you, babe. I love you, pilot. Pilot says, shut up, philosopher. Cut. We get the blaze out. We cut the stems. The seed pods are not there yet. I slice the stem with my blade. Split it open and look. Cut, says pilot, vertically in parallel strokes. I know how to do it, I say. The sap oozes out, a pot milk, dense, bitter, smells like squished grasshoppers. I squeeze the silver stems, bruising them, milking them. Pilot and rose surgical gauze, gauze on the grass, milk on the gauze. The gauze thickens, turns brownish black, like an old wound. The tears of the world, says philosopher, laughing, weeping poppies. You know that saying, the one who sees poppies weep will weep forever. Pilot wraps the gauze, packs it into the plastic, into his backpack. Let's get out of here, he says. The train will be here in 30. We're back on the road. We walk to the station, and then there's a fence. A hole in the fence is like a hole between teeth. We'll see it. Inside, there is a shack in a field of scarlet red. A sea of blood, a communist revolution, fire, hell, poppies. We look at each other, duck through the hole, and go inside. We move from the side. We pick the poppies. Then I hear a click. I look up, a man with a rifle by the door. He's gray, shabby, ancient, looks like my grandfather. The rifle is pointed at philosopher. Put the flowers down, fuckers, he says. Voice is crackling, he said. I put the Nazis for you, morons, he says. You're worse than Nazis, he said. How old are you? 16? 18? Wasting your life? At 16, I was in a fucking trench. Put them down, I screamed to philosopher, but he doesn't. He hugs the Bobby's clothes and rushes for the fence. And then I hear the shot. I see philosopher fallen, face down, on the Bobby's. I see blood gushing. I stand there frozen. The old man points his gun at me. Put them down, he said. I let the flowers go with my arms up, like in a movie about war. The old man's hands are shaking. The rifle jumps, and then he sees Violet. He didn't see him before. He moves the rifle at him and shoots, laughing like a maniac. He has one tooth in his mouth, long and black. He shoots, and all the bullets buzz by. No one is hurt, except for philosophy. He doesn't move. Then the rifle clicks. There are no more bullets. Pilot puts his puppies down and walks to the man. His face twisted. He snatches the rifle out of the old man's arms and they fight for a second. I see the old man's skin stretching like rubber bands. Then Pilot hits him on the head. One time, two times, three times. And the man falls down with the sound an old tree makes. And now he's on the ground, smashing poppies. All I see is a yellow foot with stiff toes. I just stand there, a mosquito singing in my ear. I can't move. Pilot throws the gun down and runs to philosopher. He turns philosopher around. I see blood on the side of his head. He's dead, I think. The words echo in my head, like in an underwater cave. But philosopher opens his eyes. His eyes are dark. He sits down and wipes the blood of his head with his sleeve. It peels off his temple and flows down like scarlet butterflies. It's not blood, it's popping petals. Hey, it's just a scratch, says Pilot, touching philosopher's head. His fingers are so long, so slow. Legs move, says Pilot. You're okay, we're fine. Philosopher looks around and sees the old man lying there. What happened, he asks. He dead. Fuck him, says Pilot. Let's get out before the cops come. Back, grab the parties. As many as you can. More. More. I pick up a heap of parties. It is still. Only a nightingale sings. The mosquitoes whine in my ear. Now there is a chorus of them, and they're loud. The time is like tar. The old man is lying there, his yellow feet spread in the bed of red poppies. We run back to the road, then to the field. We squat, get the blade out, and cut, fast.
my hands shake. The officer first stops cutting and looks at the poppies. His lips are moving. Did you kill him? He asks. Fuck off, says pilot. Work. We cut and roll. Cut and roll, cut and roll. Philosopher sleeps. A moving and moving. Pilot puts the red board into his backpack. That's it, he says. 5.30. We run on the road again towards the station. I hear the train. It's almost here. The sun is rising, bold, huge. Then I see a small crow on the road. And another one. Dozens of them. Tiny, pale, gentle. Golden brown. They leave. Everywhere. Philosopher stops and crouches. Go, says Pilot. The train. Wait, says Philosopher. And starts moving the probe into the gutter on his knees. One by one. A dust cloud appears on the road. A car is approaching. Run, screams Pilot. Cops. They are babies, says Philosopher, the frogs in his hand. He starts crying. They are babies. Fuck you, says Pilot, grabbing my arm and dragging me to the train. We've got to go, babe, I say, please. The train slows down at the station. The doors open and Pilot pulls me inside. The glass doors close. I see Philosopher, he's looking at me, tears rolling down his gray cheeks. Behind him, I see a cop, a gun in his hand. The train jerks. It speeds up. I see philosopher falling, face down, in the dust, and pathos.